Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you what all these colors mean on our clips and our footage, both in the bin and on the timeline, and I'll show you how to take it from this and customize it like this. Look at all the colors. There's a colors going on in here, there's color going on over here. It's great for kind of organizing our material. Let me show you how. What do they mean? Why should you bother using them? Um, instantly by default, they're reasonably useful. You can see that this one here is different from this one. Why are they different colors? Uh, this one here, if I click F key on my keyboard, it'll open up in the source monitor. You can see it has both audio, uh, sorry, video and audio as in the original footage. Okay, this audio is not very good, okay, but it has it. This one here, if I hit F key, actually click over it and hit F key, it'll open it up here and you can see there's only video in this original footage, no original audio. You can kind of see it down here in the thumbnails as well. You can see uh, this one here only has video, no audio, this has both. So it ends up being this blue color. Uh, audio is green, or well, audio only is green, and adjustment layers and stills are this kind of magenta pink color. Why are they useful? Uh, you can make them more useful. So let's say for you, let's say that we want to start organizing our footage so that we can visually see it over here. Let's say for instance, we've got uh, some footage that comes in that needs to be reshot. So let's say this one here, this one you know from feedback or for yourself that it's good, but you need to find something else, either reshot or find some more stock footage. So you can just right click it and say, actually, I want you to go to the label and let's say brown, it's gonna be your reshoot color, okay? Just a visual cue to say that needs fixing. So that's kind of handy on its own. Another way you can use it, instead of just kind of like marking up an existing uh, clip, you can use it over here in your project. You can color these and to, to give yourself a visual cue of like what things are. Let's say that we have a mixture of 4K and um, you know, uh, full HD footage. Let's bring in some full HD. Let's bring in, I don't know, let's bring all of that in. Okay, and what you can do is you can mark, it might be from different cameras, it might be different frames per second. Let's say that ours, I know that, where are we scooting along? Where is it? Video info. So there's a bunch of them that are 1080p. Okay, and you can say, actually, all of you guys, regardless of whether you've got audio or not, or just video, I can right click them and say, actually, I'd like you guys to be something strange. Mango. Okay, it's quite different. Okay, so when I add these to my timeline, okay, I'm editing away, I'm gonna add this one to it, it's gonna be this mango color. So I always know that that is a smaller, it's obviously quite <laughs> obvious as well, but it's a way of just kind of marking them before they come in. It might be frames per second, okay, so you might have a bunch of them, I've only got one, but let's say you have a bunch that are a mixture of 30 and some of them are 23.967, or seven, six, okay, and you can say, actually, I would like you, before you come in, I want to mark you all as something, okay? Either stock footage, or needs to be reshot, or has bad audio and needs to be cleaned up, or hasn't been uh, graded yet. This one's gonna be rose, okay? And now I'm gonna edit, and I'll always know that that rose color, for me, means 100 frames per second, or whatever your thing is. What you will notice, though, is let's say that it's already on the timeline. Okay, let's say we know that, let's again get our frame rates, let's say all our 23 frames per second is going to be this new color. Okay, it's gonna be mm, yellow. Do you notice these didn't update? Even though Tourism A is part of it. It's over here, but not over here. That sometimes is useful, so you mark them before you move them in. If you want your timeline to update as these update, strangely you need to go to File, okay, and go to Project Settings and open up general, it's in the weirdest place. Display the project item name and label color in for all instances. Okay, not just the ones that are to come, all the ones that exist. And now you can say actually all of these guys, yellow looks terrible, so I'm gonna go and not use proxy, I'm gonna use label, where is it? There it is, and I'm gonna make you all forest. I decide that actually reshoot color is going to be, okay, remember, Premiere Pro preferences on a Mac, edit preferences on a PC. I'm not gonna mention that again. <laughs> You're like, we know, PC, edit preferences, Mac preferences. And let's go to labels. Okay, you might decide that actually, I'm gonna make my own. I'm gonna say actually 10, I'm not gonna use 10. I'm gonna use this one, reshoot. Oh, look at that. Okay, and it's going to be the color of black. 
Okay, and that's gonna be my dun dun, needs to be reshot footage or find something new. You can see all the other defaults in here as well. We talked about uh, the audio and video is that iris color, which is blue, which matches that one. Where is he? Iris. You can go in here and do this yourself, okay, and change them. I'm not sure why you want to. <laughs> I love the names though. Uh, Caribbean, Iris. I don't even know how to say that. Cerulean? 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 You're all at home laughing. <laughs> I probably know that word if it was said right. Uh, let's click OK. OK, so now I can go in here and say actually this one and that one. So I'm holding shift to click more than one that aren't kind of you know, two separate ones. Labels, and you're going to be my reshoot. Where are you? Reshoot. There it is. Cool. Huh? Now I know for definite that these need reshooting. Black's probably not the best color because <laughs> I can't read the, the name. Uh, Hey-ho. You get the idea. Where I find it most useful is this whole need to find something new. Something obvious that needs to be redone and I'm going to do it in the future and try not to forget. Don't make them black though. All right, those are labels. Let's get on to the next video. All right, I had to know. And I feel like as a designer, I should know what Cyrillin means. I didn't. There you go. I've expanded my knowledge of color. Oh, Dan, you're a great designer. Don't know this word. Did you know it? Let me know in the comments. You're either going to all make me feel better about myself or worse. <laughs> I'm prepared for it though. All right, let's get on to the next video.